Let's take a look at one of the more unusual sensors. It's called a knock sensor and it uses a piezo element. Piezo elements are really interesting. You can run electricity through them and use them as a crude speaker or tone generator, but you can also read the voltage they create. Yes, this will actually create voltage based on vibrations or knocking. And the Arduino IDE has built in code for this exact use. So let's go ahead and hook it up. I'm gonna start by plugging in, there's a positive and a negative, and I'm gonna use them in my breadboard. I'm gonna put them into rows one and three. These wires are a little thin, so they can be tricky. You could always solder something to the ends of them to make it a little more reliable. I'm also going to take a quick piece of tape here and just put it over, neath, over the sensor because we're gonna end up kind of knocking on it to trigger it. There we go. And now let's take a look at the code. So we'll open up Arduino and we will open up examples, sensors, knock. And again, just like many other sketches, it's really well documented. So we wanna look at the top here. So the circuit, the positive of the piezo is attached to analog zero. Well, that's easy enough. Let's take positive into analog zero. And the negative of the piezo is connected to ground. Well, again, boy, is that easy. And there is a one mega ohm resistor attached from analog in zero to ground. Okay, so one thing to note here, this is a one mega ohm resistor, it has a lot of resistance in there. Don't confuse it with a one kilo ohm. So let's take this one mega ohm and we wanna connect it from analog in zero, which here is this orange wire, and we wanna connect that to ground. So we could actually just jump from the analog zero right here over to the ground wire. Just one resistor in there, should do. So let's go ahead and plug the Arduino in. Wait a second, there we go. Looks good, let's upload the code. And it's uploaded. Now something to note is there's also a, there's an LED on pin 13. So just for camera purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and put an LED right here on pin 13. Now piezos are all a little bit different, so I don't like how the sensitivity is working on this one. So I'm actually gonna go in the code and I'll see there's an integer for LED pin 13, there's a knock sensor on analog zero, and then there's this threshold. I'm gonna turn that all the way down to five and let's upload that. And that might be a little too low. Okay, let's change it one more time. Go to 20, and upload that. Okay. And sensitivity is now starting to work on and off. There you go. I like 20. Each piezo is a little bit different, so I could fool around with this a little more until I could get very gentle knocks on a table to make it. Right now I'm hitting the sensor pretty hard to make it work. So play around with that threshold and take a look at the code. It's very straightforward. Basically, it's reading the sensor here and as it senses a vibration or a change in voltage, it flips the LED on or off. It's really easy to follow and I don't think you'll have any problem understanding it. You can even open up a serial monitor and it will print knock every time it detects a knock. Let me show you one last little trick about piezos before we go. Let me unplug this. I told you that piezos generate electricity. Let's go ahead and grab this, and I hope this shows up on camera. So if I take an LED, and I'll just bend the one leg a little bit shorter than the other. This is the positive, and this is the negative on the outside. And I were to just hold that onto the piezo. Can you see that? It's starting to light up. So this, in fact, does generate electricity just by flicking it. Kind of a neat party trick. And that's how you create your own knock sensor. If you go online and search secret knock gumball machine, you'll see a really cool project that uses one of these 
and anytime you go up to it and go, it dispenses a gumball. One of my all time favorite projects and it uses a little piezo element to sense that vibration.